Oh, remember this stupid... Oh, man, I'm going to get mad. Oh, I'm going to get mad. Remember this stupid woman? Uh, what's her name? Anna Kasparian. This... Oh! God help me. God help me. God help me. Oh, I get so mad when I think about this. This stupid bitch, Anna Kasparian. She's the stupidest bitch I've ever seen in my life. There are lunch ladies more intelligent than her. Dumbest bitch I've ever seen. The only reason why, the only reason why Anna Kasparian has any position in anything is because of her looks. That's it. She has that she has that woman in a red dress kind of look. You know, that old romantic look. She's got that look. And so a lot of men go, ooh, 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 beautiful woman. She, she's the dumbest bitch I've ever seen. I hate, woman is evil. 10 plus years pushing liberalism. 10 plus years pushing liberal bullshit. Left wing bullshit. Oh, and did you see the video of her complaining about drug addicts? And complaining about homeless people on the street. Remember that? Have you guys not seen this? Anna Kasparian pushing left-wing horse shit. This Armenian woman who works with Turks who denied the Armenian genocide. Uh, well, now they talk about it because... Uh, what's his name? Cenk Uyghur denied the Armenian genocide years ago. Now he says, oh, he acknowledges the Armenian genocide. But for so many years, this Armenian was working with young Turks. And now you have Anna Kasparian... Coming along saying, there's too many homeless people on the street. Oh, you think, you dumb bitch? I feel like that lady. Remember the movie The Deep Blue? Remember the movie Deep Blue Sea with LL Cool J and Samuel L. Jackson? And you had the dude who played the Punisher in it. That was a great film. Remember Deep Blue Sea? Greatest shark movie ever, by the way. Deep Blue Sea. Remember Deep Blue Sea? The English woman says that she put human brain tissue in a shark and she says, and the, and the, the film is a horror movie about the scientist who's look, looking for a cure for some kind of a disease. She puts human brain tissue in, a, in the brains of great white sharks in a laboratory and the great white sharks are horrifyingly intelligent. And the great white sharks can strategize and they can figure shit out and they go out and hunt people down and kill them because they're basically as smart as humans at that point. Remember that film? There's a scene when the English scientist who made all the mess is explaining herself. And she says, we put the brain tissue of, sh of humans into the brains of sharks to help find a cure for a disease. And there's this blonde girl. I love this scene. Oh, my God. One of the most iconic scenes in cinema history. Blonde girl looks at her and says, you stupid bitch. One of the most iconic scenes in cinema history. One of the most iconic scenes ever. In, in cinema history, that's exactly how I feel about Anna Kasparian. I just want to look at her and say, you stupid bitch. Because that's what she is. 10 plus years pushing liberal mental illness. Like Michael Savage said, liberalism is a mental disorder. And it is. It's a mental disorder. 10 plus years pushing left-wing bullshit. And now she's saying, there's too many homeless people around. What's going on? Remember that bullshit? All these white women, these white women who don't even live in minority neighborhoods, all these white bitches be pushing liberal bullshit. The moment they experience the mental illness that they bring about, they, oh, this is getting too much. All of a sudden, they want to vote Republican. All of a sudden, the Republicans are right about something. But for 10 plus years, they ridicule us. They humiliate conservatives. They make fun of conservatives. They mock Christianity. Do you, know what, do you know what got Anna Kasparian to change her position? Do you know what got her to finally see that what she was pushing was mental illness? Do you know what got her to see it? Oh, I'll tell you. Stupid bitch was walking her dog. Walking her dog because the dog had to take a piss. Two homeless guys come out and they sexually assaulted her. Yes, that's what happened to Anna Kasparian. That's what happens when you push for mental illness. Don't be shocked when mentally ill people come and accost you or sexually assault you when you're pushing for the enabling of this insanity. Oh, yeah. I'll let me first finish the story. She was walking her dog. Okay. Dog was taking a piss. Home two homeless guys walk up to her. One homeless guy grabs her from behind and begins to do... 
terrible things. Okay, he, he did something very bad. Here. I don't want to give the details, but you can you you can imagine, right? This is it was terrible. What happened? It was terrible. What happened to her? And they were laughing after they sexually assaulted her, laughing at her. Terrible. It's terrible what happened to her. But she's a stupid bitch. Because she was pushing for this garbage for 10 plus years. Pushing for, oh, the Republicans are They hate poor people. They hate homeless people. They hate this people. Homeless people in America are lunatics. It is 100% the truth. They're lunatics. Homeless people in America are all mentally ill. Not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are mentally freaking ill. This idea that, oh, the homeless people, the homeless people, they're a bunch of schizophrenics. They're a schizophrenics. A lot of them are. And so she's saying, oh, the homeless. Oh, the poor homeless. All the poor criminals getting arrested. And now she's saying, oh, there's so many drug addicts. Here, I'll show you guys the video. You guys don't believe me? Oh, there's so many drug addicts in California. They're everywhere. Oh, who would have thought, who would have thought that if you legalize drugs, or sorry, I got to use the proper terminology. If you decriminalize drugs, that there would be homeless drug addicts everywhere. Anna Kasparian is literally in no business to be telling anyone about anything in regards to politics or morals or principles. She needs to sit her ass down and go make some Armenian food for the Turks. That's, where, that's, that, that's her place. She needs to sit her ass down and go make some yogurt soup. That's what they eat in Armenia, by the way. Yogurt soup for her, her Turkish friends. That's, her, that's what her position should be. She's in no position to be telling anybody about anything. Because if you literally sit there and say, Oh, we should decriminalize drugs. <laughs> do you know what drugs do to you? Do you know what drugs? I'm not talking about alcohol. I'm talking about serious drugs. Do you know what drugs do to you? Fentanyl, heroin, meth, crack cocaine. Do you know what drugs do to you? The part of your brain that makes you get that gives you feelings of shame, embarrassment, obligation to act right in public gets shut down. It's like the Windows computer with that that makes that little noise. It goes boop when it shuts down. I forgot the noise. Boop boop. boop. The computer shuts down. Okay, the computer shuts down. The part of the the brain is a computer. The part of the computer that says, "Hey, don't act like a fool in public. Hey, don't do this. It's embarrassing." That part of the brain just goes. It gets shut down. It, it gets shut down. So she says, "Oh, when I voted to, or when I agreed for the decriminalization of drugs, what I thought was that they were gonna that, that they were gonna decriminalize, but they were gonna regulate, and there's homeless drug addicts everywhere. You know why? Do you know why there's drug addicts everywhere? Because drug addicts don't give a shit." Because the part of their brain that says, hey, don't do this, isn't there. Lights are on, but no one's home. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a damn. They don't care. That's why you see, I remember going to California. I was in California back in 2000 and uh, it was 2000 and when was it? 2005 or no, sorry, 2009. I was in California. I was in the Bay Area in California. I saw three homeless dudes at the, at the park that I used to go to where I grew up in California, downtown Concord, California. And I'm not joking, dude. I saw, I was talking, I had my Israeli friend with me and him and I were walking, we're talking, we're talking, just, you know, having fun, enjoying ourselves at the, in the park in downtown Concord. Three, whole, three drug addicts in the park. One guy pulls his pants down, exposes his private parts to the, for the whole public to see, then proceeds to piss in public and his two friends are laughing as it's going on. Why? How do you explain this behavior? Because drugs to make you not give a shit. You don't care. Me don't care about regulation and laws. Why do you think when drug addicts are fighting cops, cops shoot them a lot of times? Because drug addicts don't care. Gun don't scare them. Because part of the brain that would make that would instill fear into their hearts upon seeing a police officer with a weapon pointed at him telling him drop the weapon isn't working 
It's not working. It's not there. So how can you deregulate drugs? Or sorry, how can you regulate the usage of drugs and prevent people from being drug drug addicts in public when public humiliation and embarrassment doesn't work because the part of their brain that makes them embarrassed is not working when they are under the influence of drugs? Explain that one to me, please. Anna Kasparian is in no position to be talking about anything about principles, morals, politics, anything. She needs to sit home and make yogurt soup and make uh, Armenian sweets for her Turkish friends. That's where she belongs. It's seriously. Oh, well, uh, uh, and you know what? Do you know what makes me so happy? Do you know what gives me some modicum of hope for American society? is the fact that Anna Kasparian is not even getting a lot of sympathy. Anna Kasparian is getting a bunch of conservatives who say, you're an idiot. And they're right. I'm so happy that enough conservatives in America are smart enough not to sit there and say, Anna Kasparian, so pretty. Oh, me want to touch Anna. I'm so happy that their lizard brains aren't working, and that people have enough sense to say, you're a stupid bitch. We don't care. Here's the video, guys. This is this woman here, and you can tell by the way she looks, this is the reason why she got any sort of attention in the first place. So let's give this a listen. It's frustrating because people don't have all the information and the way that they're written can be misleading. Oh, it's so confusing. Yes. I'm looking through these ballots and I'm reading them and it's like, one is so much better than the other. I'm like, it seems obvious. Yeah, pick the pick the better one. You have to, if I don't know, if I haven't like read deeply into what the ballot initiative is, I just don't vote on it at all at this point because I voted in favor of some ballot initiatives that I now very much regret. Um, Prop 47 was one of them, which was written in a way to make this is another stupid shit thing that she did look at this she voted for this prop 47 was a ballot measured passed by california voters on november 5th 2014 the law made some non-violent property crimes where the value does not exceed 950 dollars to be misdemeanors oh so if you if you you just rob stuff and the stuff that's that you robbed is worth 950 dollars and nothing above that it's a misdemeanor crime. Why would you vote for something like that? Why would you vote for something like this? Why would you vote for something that enables people to destroy other people's businesses? That is evil. It's not just a mistake. The fact is you thought, oh, people can steal $950 worth of stuff and it'll be a misdemeanor? That's okay in my book. That's okay in my book. Oh, so you can destroy people's businesses. You're voting to destroy people's businesses. That's what you're voting for. And she voted in favor for this bullshit. And then she says, well, I thought that was it. Even if you thought that this was what you were voting for, that still makes you a bitch. That doesn't make you any better. It makes you a bitch. Let's listen, on, listen to more of this horse shit. Oh, by the way, criminals. Here's the thing about criminals that no one ever, that very few people talk about. Criminals, be it, carjackers, shoplifters, murderers, etc., are psychopaths. And the thing about psychopaths who, and, the, and the thing about narcissists is that they only respond to the language of force. They do not respond to the language of reason. They do not respond to people trying to talk things out with them. They don't give a damn. They're the types of people who, when the officers tells them to stay where they are, they just keep going and they just keep walking away or they'll get into their car and just keep driving and they'll ignore the police officer. They will only pay they will only pay attention to the officer when the officer has a gun out, when the officer shoots at them or shoots them or when the officer tases them. And if the taser doesn't work, then many times uh, lethal a lethal form of force has to be utilized by officers. But they only respond to force. They don't respond to anything else. So when you tell a criminal, you can steal just as long as it's worth $950 and nothing above that. And, 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 and it won't be a, a felony. It'll be a misdemeanor. It'll be a misdemeanor. So you're, you're, you're not, you won't be a felon. Do you know how much stuff you can get with 950 bucks? You know how much stuff? 
do you know how much stuff I can buy at Costco for not with for, with 950 bucks? You know how much stuff I can buy at any grocery store with 950 bucks? I can get a lot of stuff. So if you can steal stuff worth worth $950 and that's still a misdemeanor, that's a lot of shit you can steal. So you're telling the criminal, go ahead. Go ahead, criminal. Go ahead. Criminal says, okay. That's cool. Let's listen to more of this broad. Another example of the, of the decay of the female mind. Let's listen to more of this. Like the voter think that it would just ensure that low-level offenders and people with like drug possession don't end up in prison. Low-level offenders. Oh, really? Tell me, why is Walmart closing in certain locations? Why are certain stores closing in certain locations in the country? Why? Because of low-level offenders. So if you tell people they can steal stuff as long as it's worth $950 or less, and they won't be charged with a felony, they'll be charged with a misdemeanor. What happens when you have 1,000 people doing this crime? What happens when you have 2,000 people, each one stealing 950 bucks worth of stuff? 950, 950, 950, 950, 950. That adds up. That's a lot of money. And you know what happens? Businesses don't want to live in your neighborhood. Businesses don't want to be in your neighborhood because your neighborhood is full of losers. But here's Anna Kasparian saying, well, I just wanted to help some thieves. That's all I wanted to do. Escalate into worse things. Well, when you give a criminal an inch, they take a mile. But see, she comes from the mentally ill mindset that says criminals actually aren't that bad. So let's listen to this moron. Prison. I don't think they should end up in prison. So I was what like, year was this? They shouldn't end up in prison. So where should they end up, Anna? Do you want them living in your neighborhood? Do you want them living? Oh, let's say that they, let's move them into your apartment complex. Let's move them into your apartment complex. Do you want them living in your apartment complex? Where you were sexually assaulted? You were, or at least outside of your apartment complex. Do you want them living outside of your apartment complex? Do you want them? Where, where do you want them living? Where do you want them living? Where else, where else should they be except prison? Where else should they be? This was... Was this 2020? No, it was, I think, like, a few years prior to that. Okay, because this sounds very familiar to something that I, I remember reading. You probably yeah. voted in favor of it. Probably. Because, again, it was written in a way that would reform the criminal justice system. This thing is greatly out, uh, uh, not being synced. I'm going to have to adjust the audio for this. Just, um in a way that makes sense. Yeah, but this was a thousand dollar cap, right? Or it's like- Oh, uh, that was a different, that was actually okay. a different Got one. Okay. Yeah, but I think I voted in favor of that yeah. too. I didn't realize that- like, uh, That was the, oh, the $1,000 cap. Oh, so you voted in favor for something that said you can rob stuff as long as it's worth $950 or lower and it won't be a misdemeanor. And you voted for something else that said you can steal stuff as long as it's, as long as the stuff that you steal is worth a thousand dollars or less. Oh, you voted, you also voted for that, you stupid bitch. Oh, I see. So you're you're an even bigger and more evil bitch than I thought you were. Oh, okay. Anna Kasparian. Yep. Like all shoplifting would be like allowed. Like yeah. all smash and grabs. Doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. Do you know how much this phone is worth? I thought you could only steal a thousand dollars worth of stuff. Do you know how much do you know how much this phone was worth? About a thousand bucks. Well, eight hundred dollars. Close to a thousand. So that means if you can steal according to Anna, you could steal this phone. That means I can go to an iPhone, I can go to an Apple store, steal the phone. It's mine. It's a, hey, it's a thousand dollars or less, right? It's not a misdemeanor. I didn't know that was gonna allow all crime. What do you call this? Stealing these phones. Why do you think you see people going to Apple stores? You see people, you see people going to Apple stores and stealing phones. Because it's less than it's a thousand dollars or less, right? Stupid bitch. All right, let's hear more of this. Like what limit? Like people like yeah. rob entire jewelry stores with these smash and grabs. <laughs> they get. What do you think's gonna happen? You give a criminal an inch, he takes a mile. And not all jewelry is worth more than a thousand dollars. You have rings that are worth less than a thousand bucks. So why not? Why can't I just steal those? Booked if they get caught. Yeah. They get booked if they get caught, and then like released the next day. Like it's anyway. No, but probably. Oh. Well, they get released the next day. What did you expect voting for people who are pro-criminal? Stupid bitch. I, I, stupid bitch. 47, what ended up happening is, as soon as it passed, they reclassified a bunch of violent crimes as nonviolent 
unserious crimes. And uh, what did you expect to happen? Once you start making little of one crime, people start making little of other crimes. It goes back to what conservatives have been arguing for years, and that is slippery slope. Oh, remember the slippery slope fallacy? That's a slippery slope fallacy. The slippery slope fallacy is not a fallacy. There really is something called a slippery slope. When you allow for one crime, when you get become light on one crime, you'll become lighter on other crimes. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. This bitch is the only reason why people even listen to this bitch is because she's somewhat good looking. She needs to be in a kitchen making that Armenian yogurt soup that they make over there. It literally is boiled yogurt. You can you don't believe me, look it up. It's boiled yogurt. Boiled yogurt. She needs to be boiling yogurt in a kitchen for her, her Turkish buddies. That's where she belongs. How is she good looking? She needs glasses. Maybe I do need glasses. Yeah, I do have glasses, actually. I should have them on. Maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe you're right. You know what? Let me get my glasses. Hold up. Let me get my glasses, guys. I'm a little bit... My eyes are a little bit retarded. Let me get my glasses up. Hold up. Hold up. Don't shoot can't breathe don't shoot hold up oh man you right this bitch is ugly it must be the alcohol oh that alcohol it's the alcohol guys i think when you when you got a little alcohol in your system the some women are just better looking when you're drunk but once once the alcohol effect goes away and dissipates like the fall leaves oh man yeah reality sets in yeah i mean you right Oh man, I was wrong. Sorry about that. I was wrong. Let's let's watch some more of this nonsense. Um, child sex trafficking was one of them, what? and I'm like, what? The How was that a nonviolent crime? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so when are we gonna go back to the logic that says that we need cops to fight crime? Because every time now, it's like they get we get gaslit every single time when we say, hey, we need cops to prevent crime. No, you don't. You don't need cops. You don't need no police. Police, no, it's not necessary. And then we hear about oh crime rates going up we need more cops and then they get and then they start funding the cops oh and oh crime goes down oh i wonder why oh i wonder why anna kasparian can we just go back to the old school stuff that they taught us back in the 90s when we had dare don't do drugs kids say no to drugs that's what they taught us when i was in elementary school and middle school say no to drugs and the cops are necessary for society. Can we just can we just go back to old school logic? We need cops, and we 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 have to say no to drugs. That's it. No to heroin. No to crack cocaine. No to meth, fentanyl, and yes, marijuana. Ironically, all these laws and crimes that followed would empower a certain section of the right wing movement to flourish. You guys know which ones. Look at the line on her cheek. Oh, okay. But why did they age is setting in? She's starting to get that old Armenian grandmother look. But unlike the old Armenian grandmothers, this bitch don't know how to cook. What, what is the incentive I to do that? I don't know. It's the craziest thing. I don't know. Oh, says the one who has the mental illness of liberalism. Why do you expect someone who's mentally ill to observe mental illness? A mentally ill person doesn't know that they're mentally ill. Believe it or not, the state legislature has been struggling to pass legislation that would reclassify it as a violent crime. I don't know why. Who's voting against it? Oh, I'll tell you. There's um, Assemblyman Wiener, okay? Literally, he's <laughs> oh, that's, from San Francisco. Oh, that's surprising. Yeah, that's, it's, I mean. He got uh, in trouble for that, didn't he? No, no, that was, um, that was a different Wiener. That was a federal. <laughs> hey, wieners? Yeah, we gotta get rid of the Wieners, honestly. Well, I know, I know, that's I the problem. Be yeah. suspicious of the Wieners. I forget um, the, the state lawmaker, oh, I forget gosh. his first name. But he actually just proposed legislation that would put speed governors on people's cars or any newly manufactured vehicle would have them. So you would not be able to drive like any higher or any faster than 10 miles per hour above the speed limit. So he's pushing for that kind of nanny state BS while simultaneously consistently voting no. But why is he, do someone's gotta look into this guy's like, he argued, you know, was, best friend group or something like that. I, it's I so like funny. I feel like there's gotta be a reason. Like he's got to I read about have it last some, night actually, because yeah. um, I read about the new proposal about the cars and the speed limits. Yeah. And I was like, I want. I had enough. I, I can't listen to this. I can't. 
I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't stand listening to these people. Oh, I'm just figuring it out, guys. Here, here is the simple logic that we all need to have recourse to. We need cops. Say no to drugs. Half the battle is won at that point.